find the number of zeros in 100 to the power 1 times 99 to the power 2 times 98 to the power 3 and it continues till 1 to the power 100. So before even proceeding to understanding and knowing how many number of zeros are in this product at the end of it, let us first of all see what this pattern actually is because number of zeros will be same as number of fives that we can count in this whole product. So first of all, in order to know the number of fives, let us see the pattern that this product is given us. So if I'll write down this in general form as a general form in some symbolic representation, I can write this as it is nothing but the product of this sign represents product of let's say let's take a variable t which varies from 1 to 100 and t to the power 100 minus t plus 1. 100 minus t plus 1. Let's take an example. For example, let's start with say 1 to the power 100. So it becomes, t becomes 1, 1 to the power 100 minus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 100 itself. Then it is multiplied again with 2 because t starts from 1 at end and it's at 100. So t will become 2 now. So 2 to the power 100 minus 2 plus 1, that is 100 minus 2 is 98 plus 1, 99. And this actually you can write it as 101 minus t. Uh, I mean, it's the same thing. I have written it in this form so that we can actually see the pattern of what we are able to see in the given question. Once we are done with this, now we need to find the number of fives in this given expression. For that, I know that number of fives can only be obtained in multiple of fives. For example, I can obtain five, let's start from here, let's say, or let's start from here. You can start from either side. So if we'll start from here, I know that 5 will have the power of 100 minus 5 plus 1, that is 95 plus 1, 96. Similarly, if I'll move on to next multiple 10, 10 will have a power of 100 minus 10 plus 1, that is 90 plus 1, 91. And similarly, if I'll move on to the next multiple of 5, that is 15. So this will have a power of 100 minus 15, that is 85 plus 1, 86. And this will go on up to the last multiple of 5, that is 100 to the power 1. Now we need to count the number of 5s here first of all. So let us see how we can do that. So 5 to the power 96, this will give me total 96 fives, which will end up giving me 96 zeros. This thing again here will give me 91 fives because two fives are 10. So I'll get 91 fives from here, which will end up giving me 91 zeros. This thing will give me 86 zeros or 86 fives. And similarly, this will continue till 100 to the power one, which will, which is also multiple of five. So if I'll just concentrate on five, I'll get just one five. I'll actually get more number of fives, but I'm taking into consideration as one only because remaining fives, I'll take it into consideration when I'll take on the multiples of 25 or the multiples of 50. Right now, I'm only bothered about taking one five, at least one five, the first five from all the multiple of five. Now, this is actually a uh, arithmetic progression. I can add all of them. I can add this values and what is this AP basically? Let me say that it starts with 96 plus 91 plus 86. So basically, and its last term is one. So this is my AP. I know that the sum, sum of this value, because I know the first term, I know the last term. So I can write down the sum of this AP as n by two A plus L, first term plus last term. But in order to know that, I need to know how many such numbers are there how many, what are the total number of terms in the series. And if you are not sure about this formula, you, you can watch the videos on uh, progression and series and you can understand from where we got this formula. So 100 is the 20th multiple of five. So which shows that this thing together will have 20 terms in it, 20 terms, because we have started from five and ended up at 100. And each contribute, each had one power, which contributed some number of zeros. But if I just focus on how many such terms are there, so I know that from five till 100, we have 20 multiples of five. So this resulted into 20 terms, which I'll obtain here. So this is equal to 20 by two, first term is 96 plus last term is one. So this gave me 97. This will equal to 10. So 10 times 97 is 970. So this total is 970. So this way, just the multiples of five. 
but till 100 we also have the multiples of 25 and then the multiples of 50 as well so let's concentrate on that first so if i'll ask about the multiples of 25 so first multiple of 25 will be 25 itself which will have a power of 100 minus 25 that is 75 plus 1 76 next multiple of 25 will be 50 which will have a power of 100 minus 50 is 50 50 plus 1 is 51 then i'll have 75 and finally 100 so 100 minus 75 is 25 25 plus 1 is 26 and 100 had a power of 1 so this thing will again give me 76 fives extra 76 fives the first 76 five because what is 25 actually 5 times 5 but this first set of fives I have already included when I have counted the multiple of fives. So right now I am only bothered about the next set of fives that I'll get. So I'll just add up 76 extra fives that I'll get from here, which will end up giving me 76 extra zeros. Again, similarly, this will give me 51 extra zeros. I'm just considering the next set of fives. So this will give me 51 fives. This will give me 26 fives this will again give me a single one five and when i will add them up these are small just four numbers so i can easily add them up six plus six is 12 13 14 and uh, seven five 12 13 14 and 15 154 154 extra fives i'll have because of 25 so this 154 and we obtained here 970 so i'll just add 154 to this so 4, 7, 5, 12, 9, 10, 11, 1, 1, 2, 4, 1124 zeros I will have in this product given here. Now you might be wondering why did not we did not move further, why did, we did not look for the multiples of 125 because we started with a single 5, we checked for the numbers having 2 times 5, can't we check for the numbers having 3 times 5? But 3 times 5 means it has to be at least 125. But we have the numbers up to 100 only. So we don't have to bother about them. We are okay with these both sort of things only. So in total I have 1124 zeros.